Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. We shall begin with our uh, data waste management subject, uh, where I have started with the topic ER schema diagram for the complete data waste. Um, so uh, the screen is shared with you all people, the diagram. So here, to start drawing the diagrams here, uh, you are supposed to identify the first the entities, okay? Uh, so according to you, you had answered me the entities or the tables are employee, department, project, and dependent here. And in this uh, diagram is getting represented with the help of rectangle. So along with your diagram, you had given me the answer, uh, entities are employee, department, project, and dependent here. Apart from this, we have discussed uh, what are those uh, a strong entity and what are the weak entities? Strong entities uh, where it is having a primary key, we call it as a strong entity, and it is represented with a single rectangle and a weak entity uh, getting represented with the help of double rectangle. And what was the weak entity where it don't have the primary key that is dependable on another entity here? Okay. Uh, then these are the entities I had discussed. Employee is there, department, project, and dependent. Now coming to the point, kind of uh, relations also I had discussed here. So identify the relationships here. So there are cardinality ratio ratios are like a one is to one, one to one relationship. Like uh, one person is having the one Aadhaar card number or one pers person is holding one passport card number here, passport uh, number. And uh, any other things, so one student is having the only one university uh, number. So that one is to one relationship. Then we had discussed one is to n a relationship, one to many. Like one student can opt for n number of courses. One faculty is taking n number of subjects okay. here. Then after that, one more relationship, it is what uh, many to one. Uh, like a fourth, uh, uh, you all class are representing for the many students are representing for 4A, like this, here. many students are opting for uh, Python course here, many students are opting for design or workshop here. So this was uh, many to one. Then after that, uh, many to many, it is what n number of people are, can place uh, n number of orders here. And customers can place many orders here. Okay, so these are the cardinality ratios where one, one to one, uh, one to many, many to one and many to many. So according to that exam for the complete database, I have mentioned here, uh, the represented the different relationship. So here yeah, first one in the description box, I mean, in the slide also I have represented manages, uh, manages is one kind of a relationship where the relationship is representing with the diamond shape or rhombus shape here. And the strong relationship is like single diamond and weak relationship is uh, represented with the help of double, Diamond. Okay, uh, then let us start working. Managers is a one is to one relationship type between employee and department. Here. Employee participation is partial, department par participation is not clear. I mean, it is completely uh, uh, this word may or may not here. Okay, so once again, I'll go through this point. Managers is a one is to one relationship between employee and department. Employee participation is partial, whereas department participation is not clear. Okay, now I'll go back to your diagram so that along with this here. So employee manages is one relationship. Here it is represented with, I'll give you. Okay, so here, here the managers is a relationship between employee and department here. What kind of a cardinality ratio it represents? It is one is to one. Why? Uh, one employee can be the boss of one department here. He cannot be the boss of n number of departments here. So one employee from this table uh, can be the boss of uh, uh, this what? Uh, any other, any department, like single department is there, like HR, sales, marketing, finance. Here. Now for us also, uh, one faculty is a HOD here, right? All the faculties cannot be HOD, so one faculty. If we are the employees of our respective society also, and from that, uh, all the employees, some employee will be, one employee will be the head of the respective department. Now coming to the point of the participation, just remember that double line represents the total participation and single line represents the partial uh, participation between what? Between entity and between the 
wrong vegetable i mean uh, this word uh, dimension now coming to this point they have said that employee is a partial participation why here in number of employees are there. all employees cannot be the boss right all the employees cannot be the team leader all the employees cannot be the hrs no that's for the reason from this it is what partial participation it is there coming to the point of the department to manages why it is specifying the double line and why it is not clear said why first of all let me uh, clear your doubt why it is not clear all the departments may have or may not have the head right some departments can be managed anyhow like everyone uh, is working in that department because rotation wise it may be here and uh, sometimes the department is a total participation why because uh, from this department all the employees whoever are the uh, employees are there here they are going to get participated in managers relationship here none of the employees left idle all the employees have participated in one department and that's why the reason they have said the total participation but in the description we have said that it is not clear why sometimes the department may require or may not require the boss it can be managed anyhow but according to this uh, complete database uh, uh, de department uh, from the department table all the values for the employee is getting participated in the relationship for the Managers here. Okay, uh, so here you can see uh, one is to one, which means the relationship cardinality ratio between employee and the department is one is to one here. Getting my point? Any doubts here? Okay, I'll proceed for the next year. Next kind of a, a relation is uh, yes, works for. Okay, the works for. is a relationship name what kind of a cardinality ratio represent it is one is to n which means one to many one to many the relationship type between department and employee the relationship type between the department and employee both again uh, two kinds of a relationships are there between employee and department one relationship is managers and another relationship is what works for i will repeat there are two types of relationship between the entities employee and the department one has been done as a managers where the ratio for that it is 1 is to 1 one employee is going to be the uh, uh, hod of the respective department all the employees cannot be whereas the employee is a partial participation for the managers relationship and uh, department is going to be the total participation because uh, from the uh, department table whoever are the employees have been uh, this word made as a hod or the boss here they are getting participated in that relationship which is called as a managers okay and coming to the next type of a relationship between employee and the department is uh, works for where the cardinality ratio represents one is to n one to many okay uh, so let us work out here and both the participations like uh, department and employee both are completely total participation all the values from both the tables are getting participated none of the values are getting idle and empty so i'll go back to your diagram for your representation yes uh, let me use the highlight okay ah. so what kind of a relationship we have we were for works for here okay and um, and between what department and employee they have said that department and employee we are not saying employee and department department works for employee here where uh, the cardinality ratio is representing the one is to n one department is getting worked by done by works get uh, done by many employees here one department is getting worked by many employees here single department by many employees here pca is getting worked by many faculties here reform is getting worked by many faculties here okay all the departments are not working for all uh, for all the faculties here. like all the faculties are not working for all the departments here so here see and both the entities are representing what kind of a participation 
total from this employee table all the employees are getting participated for the work squad and uh, for the department table one department one department is getting work for all the employees okay none of the employees are uh, sorry none of the department is getting idle some from each department some employees are working so that is what the reason we have provided the double line where we specify it is what the uh, total participation here and why it is specifying that one is to n one department is getting work for all the employees getting done by all the employees here coming to the next relationship uh panages is done works for is done i'll come to the point works for and controls for you yes the third one controls controls is a relationship the cardinality ratio between for the controls it is what one is to n we can say it as a one to many is a relationship type between the department and the project here between the department and the project entities then coming to the point kind of a participation the participation of project is total where it is going to be represented with the help of double line whereas that of department is determined to be partial why it is determined i will tell you soon uh, uh, so the name of the relationship is control the cardinality represents a one is to n same like a works for and which is between the department and project here instead of employee we are coming to the project table here. so i'll go back to your right from so where was that here controls is the uh, pro, this is what relationship name it is uh, holding the cardinality ratio is like one is to n from department at to project here one department is working for many projects like a one hr department is working for n number of projects okay so coming to the point of the participation one department is representing as a single line which is a partial uh this what participation why partial as it cannot be determined they have said no determined by the partial because sometimes some department will not for work for any kind of a project no cannot control some projects here but all the projects are getting controlled by one of the department here but all the projects are getting controlled by uh, the respective department here that is some departments will not control all the projects here. getting so that's what the reason department to control is a partial participation and project to control is a double participation every project none of the project is left empty or idle any every project is getting work by the respective department okay. assume that uh, two uh, four departments are there assume uh, one it is hr department uh, otherwise i can say your student name one is uh, sai prakash is handling the project of uh, hospital management system uh, maitri is handling the project of uh, hotel management system i am taking kind of example then aishwarya is handling the project of online shopping and uh, renuka is handling the project of uh, what i'll say online you are so done okay uh, food no hotel is done no Uh, college management system here yeah. sai prakash is what uh, hospital maitri hotel aishwarya is handling uh, online shopping and uh, renuka is handling what uh, college management system here yeah. okay these are the projects here so here uh, college management system is getting handled by uh, uh, here sai prakash sorry uh, who is that renuka then after that uh, uh, some hospital management is also getting handled by some other person assume that here the project for the hotel management system is there but nobody is handling nobody is handling it. so that also works then over one is to n it is done coming to the next uh, relationship supervision in the last class i discussed about this supervision kind of it is not visible for you but i'll dictate it okay uh supervision is one is to n relationship type between employee in the supervisor role and the employee in the supervisory role here both the participations are determined to be 
uh, partially. All the employees cannot be supervisor and all the employees cannot be supervising. Some of the employees can be nominal, like uh, all the faculties cannot be equal and all the faculties also cannot be go for the principal also, like this week. Okay. So one is to end relationship. We're coming to the right now, we'll be part of the right now. <coughs> one employee and many supervisors he will be there but supervision can be uh, is a relationship here from this supervisor can be one main squad okay and here supervisors can be more who is going to do the supervision like this coming to the next relationship works on works on is determined to be many to many relationship type with the attribute hours after the users indicate that project can have several employees working on it here. Uh, here, both the participations are determined to be total. Let us go here where the works on relationship is there and between what entities are there. I'll go for the diagram works on, works for is different and works on is also different here. Works for is between department and employee. Works on is going to be uh, between employee and the, this what project here. The kind of uh, type cardinality ratio is many is to n, which means many to many. Many employees are working on many projects. Many projects are getting handled by many employees. I'll repeat my sentence. Many employees are working, working on many projects here. Many projects are getting worked by many employees and both the relationship uh, i mean both the entities provide the kind of participation is total participation why because all the employees uh, from the employee table are working for some project and here also why it is total from the project to work on all the projects are getting worked by all the employees here. so none of the project is left empty here okay uh, and the hours they have said here the hours it is then it will get indicated for this uh, which employee is working for which project here. To identify that which employee, we are going to take the employee ID here and uh, to identify which project is there, we are going to take the project number here. So we can understand that uh, Sai Prakash roll number is 401, his, uh, his employee, and the project uh, number it is what? P101. So 401, P101. With the help of this value, we will come to know that uh, how many hours he or she is working here. Okay. This is done. Uh, works on is also done here. For the works on, the relationship type is M, M is to N. You can call this a minute to many here. Then last type of a relationship is uh, dependent. Dependence of, uh, like uh, insurance purpose, here. to whom to be claimed, or uh, medical insurance, or uh, some other accident insurance, any kind of insurance. So dependence of is a relationship, and it is a kind of relationship, it is what one is to end relationship type between employee and the dependent. One employee is going to give the, uh, it can be the dependent of N, N number, like uh, he is a dependent of mother or a father, wife, daughter, son. It is all we work out here, okay? So here, which is also identifying the relationship for weak entity. Why weak entity? Because in the dependent table, we are not going to have a primary key, but dependent table is going to get depend on the employee table here. Or weak relationship you have, because the dependent type, the participation of the employee is partial, whereas the dependent is total here. So let us see here, go back to the diagram, please. So here, employee, and dependent here, one employee can be the dependent for a number of people here. Uh, here, the it is a weak entity because it is not having the primary key, but it is fetching the value from the employee table. Here. Okay, finding of the kind of relationship type here: husband, wife, mother, father, daughter, son. Okay. And uh, how it is or uh, one employee can be the dependent for the, I said, mother, father, uh, normal employees at it. And uh, after that, maybe after marriage, uh, husband, uh, then wife, daughter, son. So if one employee ke liye, koi to relationship ho jayega. And employee is a partial participation. All the employees cannot be the same, uh, cannot have the same mother, right? So that we can say. So, and from here, 
uh, dependent side why it is a par total participation because all the dependents are getting uh, participated in employee somewhere it is getting connected here okay Here, from the employees, some of the employees will be not there, so that we have to leave it. But from this side, all the values from the dependent table are getting connected to the employee table. So uh, this was about your respective year diagram. Now we will start it. Can you tell me what is the start it? Employee has become a boss for the respective department from when when the date should be there. Okay. So two attributes are getting created uh, with the help of relationship. See, one it is managers that it is started, and the second one it is what uh, works on relationship, which the attribute is getting created as hours, like a number of hours employees who working on the respective project, and here employee is the boss of the respective department from the respective day. Okay, so this was about your ER diagram. Then the third step for the ER diagram is what you are supposed to identify the key attributes like primary values. So for the employee table, you have social security number. With the help of diagram, you can understand that it is getting underlined social security number here. Uh, coming to the next department number, it is there. Yes, the name was also there, but we have not included it. The department uh, key attribute is number. Project is also the key attribute is number. Dependent the key attribute is going to be the name. Other relevant attributes is what birth date, gender, address, salary, name, locations, number of employees. Project it is name and location. Dependent is what gender, birth date. Sorry, birth date. I have provided extremely sorry birth date and uh, relationship here. Kind of relation. This is your entire ER diagram. Again, for your reference sake, for your summary purpose, I have created uh, the bullet points. You can have a look here. Entities and their attributes. Employee entity attributes of employee entity are name, address, ID, gender, DOB, and date of join. You can include that. ID is the primary key for uh, for the entity. And uh, department entity attributes of the department entity are department number, name, and location. Department number is uh, primary key for the department entity. Project entity attributes of the project entity are project number, name, and location. Project number is the primary key for project entity. Dependent entity attributes of dependent entity are department number. Yeah. Because uh, you know what, which employee is working for? Whose dependent is that? So that the relationships again I have mentioned for your reference six here. Employee works for works in department. Manages control in department here. Department has many projects. Employee works on project. Employee has dependent here. Uh, each employee has dependent. Each dependent is dependent of only one employee. One employee works on several projects, and the number of hours works by the employee on a single project is recorded here. One department has many projects, but one project cannot come under many projects department. Okay, so this was about your ER diagram, and still one more topic for the beginning part. I told you, let me uh, share you, and which is very very wait. Uh, One more beginning topic: high-level conceptual data model for database design. With an example, so here, high-level conceptual data model for database design. Now we have learned three levels, like three schema architecture. Uh, we had their conceptual uh, level or conceptual database design. Then uh, we had logical, and the third one it was a physical. Okay, if you don't remember, I'm telling you still three scheme architectures was there. One it is a logical, sorry, first one it is a conceptual schema 
or uh, level you can say second one it was a logical level or logical schema and the last one was a physical schema or level here now i'll give you a short description what was there for the conceptual schema for the conceptual schema you are supposed to understand uh, what you want actually for the table uh, for the database what are the ingredients you want which tables you want to get created and for the tables which are the columns you want to mention for that table what records has to be stored here what the conceptual level specifies what logical coming to the point of the logical how it can be implemented or how it can be work out still i mean who will take care of that and how it will be get created the kind of language to be used okay and coming to the point physical storage how it will get stored where it will get stored who will use that who will create that thing? actually by how the insertion can happen and where it will get stored here so this is your physical okay so these are the three things you should remember which are the three things here uh, those are uh, that is uh, conceptual what logical how how to do I mean, who is going to do that here? management how many tables are there what are the column names that should be uh, recorded here then after that uh, physical it is what where it is about to store this is done uh, then i'll show you the diagram we are referencing what exactly this topic it is high level conceptual data model for database design i'll tell you in a basic way assume that i am the customer and the site is the uh, designer here for the database so what kind of a database i want how it should be implemented i mean not implemented how it should be looked what are the records to be added here so i have to discuss this what with sai prakash sai prakash is the developer he and we will be discussing the entire things here how my database has to get created for that purpose what are my requirements and from his side he will listen to my requirement and he will uh, allocate his friends how the database has to be get created who will create the table who will insert the records who will take care of the queries work here this all should be there so hardly two minutes required for this uh, i'll show you first time yes the textbook also this diagram is available to so see uh, this is the mini world which means what we are going to come here the customers and the developers here and uh, as i have discussed that three things you should remember what is the conceptual design or the conceptual level what a logical design how kya karna chahte ho physical design how it is going to get stored here here okay this is a respected to your uh, schemas here or uh, architecture for the dbms you can call it as a and here two parts are there till here conceptual and requirements uh, dbms independent will be working and the last one is what kind of a language we are going to use the dbms specific here, the respective things here. and uh, this is i have said that this is entire dbms part and coming to this point here you see here functional design application program design transaction implementation this functional design is getting related to the software engineering how the requirement should be there uh, this will be used once your database will get created here how you are going to retrieve retrieve matlab access kaise karna chahte ho database and how you are going to update here so this will be handled by the software engineering purpose and here you will be uh, taking care of the flow diagrams or the sequence diagram also where you have one for your uh, c programming this kind of should be implemented for the uh, software engineering also here so i'll start with this here the first part it is what requirement collections and analysis here this is a simplified overview of the database design process matlab how sai prakash is going to take care of the database design process from my side and how he is going to listen to me what are my requirements how he is going to note it down all those uh, requirements the first step shown is uh, requirement collection and analysis here what sai prakash will do during this step the database designers interview prospective uh, prospective database users i mean for me to understand and document their data requirements here. like he will understand that what are my data requirements how the document has to be built here everything he has to check what database i want how the table should look what are the records to be inserted here 
what queries will be there i say no always uh, i want the query those who have scored uh, in the tbms about 90 years so that query how it should be implemented how the answer should be visible here so that will come under the requirement analysis and collection then after that sai prakash will listen to all my requirements what he will do now he will allocate all his friends with a task then it will go like this way so once the requirement have been collected and analyzed from my side the next step is to create a conceptual schema for the database here. yeah conceptual schema for the database is what using the high level conceptual data model this step is called the conceptual uh, design now he has taken the cyprus has taken all the requirements from my side now it is his duty to decide the conceptual uh, uh, this what design here how when he is working for the conceptual design he will also tell me also to uh, his this what team team members also friends also like he is telling me uh, map has to create a table for you where the table we will call it as entities i say okay so he will decide how many entities to be get created and for the respective entities what are the attributes to be created and after that uh, from that entity you have to decide uh, which attribute will be a uh, uh this what key attribute here which attribute will be multi value or divide up to attribute here also he has to decide what are the relationship between the different entities here what kind of relationship should be maintained either one is to one or one to many or many to one many to many here this relationship also will be done in the conceptual uh, schema here apart from this he also has to decide the kind of uh, participation how it is done whether it is a total or whether it is a uh, full year i mean uh, partial or total participation okay here in the conceptual design only take care of uh, entities attributes and the type of relationship in what should be done coming to the next step the next step in the database design is the actual implementation of the database using commercial database management system here actual matlab logical me aana chahiye you have got the idea of what are the tables you have decided what attributes you have created that also you have got the idea in the conception schema and the relationship also now it is your duty actually to create the table create table so and so attribute so and so here okay so this will work in the uh, this what logical schema here and the last step is the physical design phase during which the internal storage structure actually values records to be stored in this uh, level here where you can see the physical design phase here the files organization indexes access parts how assessment should be done here and the physical design the part, uh, parameters for the database files are specified okay matlab uh, uh, storage of your records of this i am coming to this point here everything here it will work from this high level transaction specification everything it is shown how your database is getting designed for the application program how it looks and here transaction implementation how the queries are going to get work okay uh, so this was about your today's class i have completed uh, your er diagram for the complete database and also completed your first topic of your sec uh, second unit and the last topic i have left it is with the naming convention and design issues here i'll proceed this tomorrow's class for this topic here okay so that your second unit will complete uh, i request everyone to give the attendance here